Welcome to part two of my EasyGen tutorial series. In this video we'll learn how to apply textures to your newly created terrain. <clears throat> it's very quick, very easy, and uh, this program takes care of writing the shaders for you and the terrain blending, so it's a uh, very quick and easy way to texture your map. So let's begin by opening the terrain that we created in our first tutorial that we named D1. And the first thing you'll notice is that this was not here in our first tutorial. I threw that in real quick because when you add terrain blending with your textures to the map, when you get really high vertical peaks like this, you're going to see some texture stretching. I just wanted you to see that so you'll be aware of it. Keep that in mind when you're creating your maps. Uh, if I wanted to go back and, and manually apply textures to this map in Radiant, it wouldn't be a problem, but uh, it's just uh, the way it goes in Easy Gen. I'm not sure how to fix that. Maybe at some point in the future I'll figure it out. But for now, let's go up to Alpha Map and uh, first thing we need to do is go to Textures and Add Folder and because Easy Gen does not recognize PK3s we actually have to go into our smoking guns directory create a folder called textures and then with winzip or I use winrar open sg underscore texture zero dot pk3 navigate into the textures folder and you can just drag and drop whatever folders you want to use with the easy gen there for instance, I have dirt, grass, sand, snow, and stone, common materials you would find in an environment. So once you've done that, I'll show you again, textures, add folder, then navigate to whatever it is you're looking for. We'll start off with some grass here. And we're going to want more than that. How about some dirt? definitely going to want some stone for our mountains and believe it or not you know I really don't know how accurate a representation of a player model this little box is but this map is going to be quite big a lot bigger than what you would think it will be just looking at it in here so that being the case and my mountains are pretty huge I'm going to put some snow on them too So let's begin by going up to the palette here and you can just pick a box and if for instance if I want to load grass first I'll pick a corresponding color and then down at the bottom here we need to choose a grass texture of course and then at this point I usually like to turn off the grid and view the textures themselves as you can see this is uh, got quite a bit of pattern to it you can go up to textures and select zoom one to one which helps a lot let's choose uh, a sort of a brownish looking color here for dirt and select a dirt texture we'll go with that one and at this point we'll begin to actually paint the texture onto our surface. Hold control shift on your keyboard and left click with the mouse and you can just drag around anywhere that you want to put some dirt. Maybe there's quite a bit of dirt down here in the bottom and we're going to want some stone for sure. Let's go with this. Then we just do the same thing. You can start painting. Now if you want to cover a wider area, you increase the paint radius. And 
and that speeds things up quite a bit. And you'll notice these black triangles. That is EasyGen's way of telling you that you've got more than three textures on a single triangle and that is not going to work out when you go to compile the map. You can have no more than two textures touching each other at once. So all you can do is just go back in and start trying to cover that up. go back in and touch it up. Alright, that works. Let's put just a little more dirt down here. And Let's do some snow. Whoops, might help if I select a snow texture. say that looks pretty good. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Doesn't look bad. That's it for part two of the tutorial. In part three, we'll export the map and save these shaders and import this into Radiant and compile it and you can see what it looks like. Thanks for watching. See you in part three.